Welcome to my channel please endeavor to like, share and subscribe, so you will be the first to view latest informations. On Wednesday's edition of CNN's The Situation Room, former CIA officer Phil Mott explained the threat posed by former President Donald Trump hoarding information about a foreign power's nuclear capabilities at mar lago If a foreign power were to see these documents, Mott said, it would be a devastating blow for the United States' basic ability to gather intelligence. How serious is it that the FBI reportedly recovered a document about a foreign nation's nuclear capabilities, asked anchor Wolf Blitzer. The first, the basic piece about who had access to this, to that person or those persons knew how to handle classified information, and did they do anything with it including talking about the bar with it, said Mudd. I want to know who gave them access or authorized access. The most significant issue, Wolf, is the sensitivity of the information. It isn't simply what the U.S. knows about these foreign nuclear secrets that would compromise intelligence gathering, Mudd explained, but what the U.S. doesn't know. Forget about the data in the intercept, and I presume some of this is intercept based on the classification, said Mudd. There is a phrase we use that is sources and methods. If you release this information, the adversary work we're collecting on will understand how we acquired it, through intercepted communications, they can both shut down that channel of information, so that we can't collect any more, and there's a secondary piece. They can see what we cannot collect, and what we seem not to know, and hoping that the US penetration of the nuclear program is not complete, and it gives a lot of clues to a foreign adversary, if this stuff ever gets out, Wolf. Fox News personality Geraldo Rivera said in a new tweet that he's not going to support former President Trump again. Election deniers depress me, Rivera said. I blame President Trump for his shameful campaign to slander and undermine American faith in our elections. For all his positive accomplishments, and there are many, I could never support him again, Rivera added. Without fealty to the Constitution, we're too dear eight. The former syndicated talk show host has been a frequent critic of Trump in the past few years, previously saying that Trump hadn't spoken to him after Rivera declared that the 2020 election result had been decided. Rivera, who in January 2021 said that Trump should be impeached for his role in the rioting at the Capitol, said in August that the former president still rules the GOP, adding that he's disappointed in many, if not most Republicans for still believing Trump's election claims. Rivera last month tweeted a response to James Carville's interview with The Hill during which the Democratic strategist said that GOP voters are stupid for believing that Trump did not lose the 2020 election.